Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Jacob Alava with Coach Rob. So this is part two of our back training tips. Yung previous video natin, we talked about the width. Now we're gonna be talking about the thickness. Yung kapal ng back. Yeah, diba? mostly the upper back. So thickness naman, ang gagawin natin, most of back workouts would be horizontal rows. Kasi kung nakita nyo, sa width, meron tayong isang horizontal row, which is the one arm row, and lahat vertical rows na, which is the pull down and the pull ups. So ngayon, may kita nyo na, Mostly it's horizontal, so medyo naka-bend over yung katawan to add more size on the upper back portion. So guys, when it comes to your upper back, yung target mo dyan, yung traps, rhomboids. So when you're doing the horizontal motion, yung upper back yung tina-target ng mga motion and movements niya. So, Aaron, pakita mo muna yung common mistake na ginagawa nila sa barbell row. So, yeah, rounded back. Yan. Yung travel ng bar, pupunta sa upper abs. Tapos yung arms niya, parang nagbabicep curl. Tapos, hindi sobrang baba ng pagbaba ng hips niya. Kaya parang nagbumo ang shrugs. Ngayon, kokorek natin si Aaron. Aaron, okay. From the ground to left. Sige. Pwede mo yung bar. Sige. Okay. Just out. Ngayon, pag Kinuha niyo yung bar, lagi stand up muna. I-ready niyo muna yung scapula niyo bago kayo mag-row. Huwag agad dederecho sa barbell row position. So, from this position, sige, bend over. Yep, ganyan. Yung bar below the knees, yung lower back, chest, straight siya, hindi siya rounded. Then, pag nag-row, iron row, yung travel ng bar, papunta sa lower abs. Then, sige, baba. Then, row. Yan. So, may kita niyo yung scapula niya. Gumagana, nagko-contract. Yung elbows niya, slightly tucked in, hindi naka-flare out. And, hindi siya masyadong upright, hindi siya nagbumukhang shrugs. Okay? So, yan. Ito yung mas magandang version ng barbell. Okay? Okay. So for T-bar row, para siyang barbell row, yung form. So, ay kailangan yung feet placed properly uh, for the balance. Tapos, when you bring it up, dapat parang dead deformed form, naka-arch yung back. So, tingnan nyo, naka-arch yung back ni Robbie. Tapos, when you pull the weight, dapat the elbows are close to your body. Ayan, para maximum yung engagement. Tsaka yung range of motion mo, dapat full. So, pwede yung i- Pwede yung i-stretch nyo yung lats nyo by the time pinupull nyo, full range of motion yan. Tapos you just check your your neck. Huwag masyadong stiff na nakatitig sa taas. Basta comfortable kayo, yun, hindi masakit. Huwag yung lagaw nung kayo nag-row. Yung T-bar row, mas maganda siyang ginagawa kung mas heavy. Kasi mas neutral yung grip mo, mas stable yung stance. Kaya most of the time, nagagawa natin siya ng heavier than the usual barbell rows. Ang problema lang, kapag nag-heavy sila, sige, ano, jerk mo siya. Nag-jerk. Huwag nyo nag-jerk yung movement. Kasi, mawawala yung contraction, masasayang yung movement nyo sa workout, and hindi siya tatama sa likod nyo. Hindi siya tatama sa correct muscle. So, always go for the weight na kaya nyong kontrolin. Hindi yung weight yung kokontrol sa inyo. Okay? Lagi nyo tatandaan. And guys, mas gusto nyo mag-T-bar with a smaller weight kesa a bigger plate kasi pag big plate yung range of motion mo hanggang dito lang eh may yung chest hanggang dyan lang siya eh pero kung small yung weight tignan nyo guys hanggang madadala ko siya makukuhay ko siya hanggang sa chest ko so yung activation ko sobrang layo tsaka yung contraction malayo instead na kung big plate hanggang dyan lang ako okay
Okay guys, so nakikita ko sa gym, ganito, mag-seated bro. Mali yan, kasi wala kang engagement sa back whatsoever. Baka lower back pa konti, pero this is not what the machine is for. Diba? Kung mag-lower back ka, mas gusto mo mag-hyper extensions na lang, or mag-deadlift, or rack pull. Pero ito, wala yan. So ang gusto natin, fit in place, balance. Arch back pa rin, pag back movements. Then when you pull, range of motion, and squeeze sa dulo. Form pa rin. Neck, neutral spine. Tapos balance with the feet. Then you stretch. Then you pull and squeeze. Also remember that your eccentric movement may, may contraction pa rin yung muscles then. So important yung eccentric, concentric, and eccentric. So tandaan nyo guys, hindi, hindi natatapos yung motion dito. Kailangan slow and controlled throughout the movement. So, kanina, nakita niya kanina na may gumagawa na rounded yung likod, tapos kinakurl niya halos yung weights niya. Okay? So, hindi siya dapat gawin ng ganyan. Dahil, masisira yung joints niyo, yung shoulder joint, at the same time, pwede kayo magkaroon ng problema sa spine. So, always, neutral yung spine, chest out, then, pag hinatak siya, elbows and fulcrum, pagpunta sa lower ab area. Okay? Tuck your elbows palagi, when you pull, then slightly lean forward when going back para sa eccentric, para mas stretch pa yung back, then lean back ng konti sa concentric movement para mas magkaroon ng maraming range of motion dito sa upper back. Okay? Yeah. Thank you for watching the video and hope you can like, subscribe, comment. See you in the next video.